Now, when you talk about partnerships, I can't help but think about a, a really a power a, a story that was powerful to me in the book, where you talked about that you went and rented a, an apartment in San Francisco and then visited the Apple campus campus every day for like six months to try to form a partnership with them, right? Early before AOL, before AOL right. was AOL, right? Right. And yeah, we we thought that Apple was a critical. Uh, you know, kind of potential partner. We had identified them as the most important partner. We said if we could establish a partnership with Apple to create a joint service, which we ended up calling Apple Inc. Personal Edition, that would be a game changer for our company. And so even though we were based in Washington, D.C., as you said, I, I did essentially move out. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be for six months, you know, but it ended up being for six months uh, and showed up at Apple every day and kept talking to different groups and trying to you know, kind of weasel my way into the company and figure out some some somebody there who could say yes that you know could agree to a partnership and you know, talk to different groups and and some said no many said no but finally one said yes which was the customer support group and we agreed to create a service that would focus on providing online customer support that would be more efficient for them than just people making phone calls to them uh, and in addition to that we'd add some other services so that was the you know we finally had a breakthrough we finally found a group within apple that that liked the idea and was willing to you know to to partner with us but it, it took a lot of time and if we just i just flown out there for a couple of days we never would have had that that partnership it required really making it a, a priority and, and sticking with it and, and and persevering until finally we got somebody to, to say yes